Greetings and salutations, I am the Raven, I am your DM for today, for better or for worse. <laughs> Stop giving me that look. Look. Poke. This look. Why are your eyes crossed and why is your tongue out? Okay, Johnny Meepo usually is a uh, Layla M. Hi, it's Crimbus almost. And we haven't been plotting anything at all. No. Not at all. And also <laughs> not been plotting with anyone. Sirot. Why do I hear bells in distance? And an only cheerful music. Can you hear the bells? Next up, Lady Maid. Okay, how bad is this session going to go, folks? We'll find out. All the way. Raven, what did you do? Everything. I'm not this is why I'm paranoid. <laughs> Next up is J.K. Lantern. So some fat elf dressed up in red was trying to hit me up for money. I punched him out. That gonna be a problem. Nah, fine. Those guys are calling me. Only on for way. you. <laughs> You're getting nothing but cold under, under the uh, tree for a while. Finally, definitely, definitely not least, and not so I've been plotting with them as, as well. <laughs> Stop it, just hate LC. You know, I've been hearing a lot about people asking about Ficky Pudding. I'm not even sure what it is, but I want to try it. That's a good point. What is Ficky Pudding? I had a recipe for it at one point. <laughs> pudding with figs? It is no pudding fit for a man. It's on fire! <laughs> oh, man, oh. stop shredding on the pudding. You're gonna burn yourself, the damn thing's a flame! I am powered by the power of spiciness. This is fine. Well, this is quite warm, though, so maybe I should sit down. He's gonna hatch it. I can't. I can't look. I can't look. Happiness okay. is a warm butt. <sighs> I guess that is not the first time I've ever heard that phrase. And it wasn't The most time. important part of the figgy pudding is a good brandy. Is that that's what is that is is that's what's causing the fire? Last Very time possibly like, yes. I assume they were just using Snorri's brew. No, that thing oh, would be Oh good lord, of that would snores. kill people. Stop <laughs> mentioning fire. You just need to expose that to a naked flame in the same room, and that room is gone. Uh. <laughs> okay, the setup for this session. It starts with a letter. Another letter, in fact. Greetings, super sleep well. First of all, allow me to introduce myself. I am Jeeves, the service to Lady Kiki. For better or worse, I contact you in an upcoming event related to your family that you no doubt have been informed about already. The wedding to join the families of Sweetwell and Snark is due within a few weeks and her ladyship has agreed to host the event at New Chester. Her ladyship is, is busy and has left overseeing the event in my hands. Given the interactions with the Sleepwells, no doubt you have already been in informed that your family requests, no, demands you assist and provide the aid with the cooking. I do wish to show you that the ladyship will provide you with the best quality supplies and aid. I have also included a guest list for your review. Both Sleeper and Snark have taken it upon themselves to invite some of the highest of the high of the inner circle to attend. So by the rest of Lady Kiki, the smalls attend as her honoured guest and act as a peacekeeping force to keep things at least suitably interesting. Till the day, your sincerely, Jeeves. Dear 
dear God, where did you get the geek and zimsies from? I I love at this point we're just sent to places to cause chaos. In this case, it's at least run damage control, so uh, things don't get too out of hand. <laughs> No setting paintings on fire this time? I'm disappointed. Huh. But something you noticed, and it, I'm assuming it was pretty public when Shifros first got the invite, well, demand that he attend, that for a little while, he was blatantly saying he was going to completely refuse to go no matter what his parents wanted. He didn't care. But then he disappeared for a day or two and came back really ready to go to this wedding. Oh. You gonna tell us what changed or uh, is this it a is big the... surprise we're gonna get a good laugh out of? It is the curse of the whale panda, it is. I don't it think It is a so surprise, okay. but I doubt laughter will be involved. A lot of crying. A lot of people cry at weddings. Should we be worried? Is oh. there an open bar? There no one the nobles? Be. Probably. Do they say what the dress code is for us as the honor guard, so to speak? Because I'm a little better with dresses now, but I'm not sure how well they're going to work with uh, peacekeeping utilities. Oh, you got to blend in. So, for the three, three small to attended the, no, the novel's events, you still have the, should still have the garb that Lady Kiki provided you with in the first place. Okasan is going to head to wedding early to... To make sure that everything is okay. And Probably. I'm off. And he's gone for the session. <laughs> <laughs> he gets lost along the way. <laughs> that, that, that is canonically what happens. The rest of the party will end up in New Chester. Okasan how somehow ends up on Starrakis. <laughs> oh no. Here we go again, folks. Anyway, what about Lo and Magpie? They were not in the first mission with Lady Kiki, so they don't have previous garb. Oh, but you do. You still have yes. that dress hanging up in your wardrobe from one year ago. Oh, okay. We're. I was. That's why I was asking. I actually wanted to know if maybe Magpie had to go dress shopping, or she can wear the same one. That's literally what I was asking. And for low? I think it's the same situation. Yeah. Was 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 this the ball? Yeah, the winter ball. The one where... Oh yes. They get to wear the dress again. I drew the dress. Hang on. Yes, you did. It was so cute. Thank yep. you. I but highly I... recommend you keep way to defend yourself handy. Not gonna hmm. be a problem for me. I have a few gonna... tricks up my sleeve. I I'm have gonna be. Staff, so. I guess I'm gonna need close combat weapons, and the bow and arrow ain't gonna be useful anyway. Can you hide a long sword in this dress? I mean, a short sword. Or am I stuck using a knife? You are honor guard. You can probably get away with bow. To be fair, we do have our bags of holding. True. Yep. Aha. It's also at this time until Snack shows up. He's refusing to meet your gaze, Zephros. I'm not looking at him. No, he's pretty much not looking the other way. Ever since the invites, the notice, notice about the weddings that come round, this case of, it's 
He's been more depressed than usual. Jim Frost has just been angry the whole time. Ooh. So, uh, you took a fuck's going to be heading off soon? Um, probably. <laughs> so? Yeah, it's just a job for most of us. If Ludwig isn't going, Magpie did say goodbye and say where she was going. It's uh, Ludwig was unable to get the time off. Time off just meant any spare time he could was spent going to upcoming events. Dookie turns to Sarah out. We can totally distract with dancing. <laughs> By the way, Magpie so just promised that next time she'd go with him to something, like, in return for that. And she's very grateful to Ludwig, but she's like, crap, I gotta work too now. And now, we skip ahead a couple of weeks, because that's how long, that's how long it took to get a new Chester. For one reason or another, he's either early or late, depending on... I don't remember the distance. But it's you arrive, you're dressed for the for the occasion. And you get in the side of the place. It's the uh, the event has been held at a small villa on the more towards the edge of the islands. Close to the ocean that, that's there. Mm. You can see the gathered mass of the snark goblins and the sleep well halflings, along with a few numerous other guests. You can tell the inner city nobles, inner island nobles, pretty easily. Mm. Jeez. It He's really easy to spot since. He was there on a noble ball, he just never interacted with him. But he is a a hobgoblin in a very smart, sharp, sharp cut suit. He looks absolutely no nonsense. And he's just going about the place, just keep an eye on things. Checking with the other other staff, checking all things are going well. Guess we yeah. go up to Jeeves. You uh, want to do something, Lantern? Wait. Um. Do, does the Psy see anyone around familiar? He spots someone who's laying low, but not out of the gathered crowds. He sees Percy. Oh, god damn it. He is dressed up. And he seriously doesn't look look like he wants to be here. Well, I don't want him to be here either. That makes two of us. Oh, well, aside from that little rivalry, what's the general vibe of the area? Like, does it feel like celebratory? Does it feel tense? Does it feel kind of... Eh. It's a wedding, of course, it's tense. Could, so it's a, a wedding that is going to have a lot of drama, so it feels... It, it's not a good wedding, it's a bad wedding. The snarks on sleep wells are pretty much keeping to either side of the assemble, assembly hall, also keeping themselves and the related... Related novels they inv invited. Oh, another note. Stop! <laughs> another note is you notice about Percy. That's fairly obvious to see. Oh. He has his left arm in a sling. And he's pretty well pretty nurse nursing it pretty intimately. Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of his own actions. 
Well, I'm not going to come Fail down some my, stairs. My bloody job. What are you doing here? I'm part of the honor guard here. The hell are you doing here? I'm here because we have business associates who cannot come, so I must attend. And of course, for some, some unknown reason, some intelligence, intelligence gets out and someone comes and has a word with me. And I think I know, you know why. Why, Percy, whatever could you mean? The very reason I'm mostly stuck on a spit of an island, enjoying some bit of freedom. But if, I, if, if, if her ladyship gets news that I've been accosted by, by him on the suspicion that I know where her daughter is, I'm going to be recalled and questioned, and you know how fun that is. I couldn't imagine it happening to a nicer guy. He pulls something out of his jacket, a, a, a large bundle wrapped up in brown cloth. It is thrust against, against you. You know where she is. That bastard after breaking my arm said, just give it to her. It probably means something. Excuse me. I got off to lay low and hope. Hope the uh, purple lady isn't here. Because you know how well she loves our kind. <laughs> you. You stay out of sight. It's what you're good at, rat like you. Percy just buggers off and starts chatting to some nobles. Okay, so he picks up, so puts on a false positive facade that only you would know that he's basically putting it on. He's just basically remarking he's passing off his broken arm as he accidentally fell down the stairs. I, I was going to go with skiing accident, but that also works. <laughs> A skiing accident on the stairs. Well, he, yeah. he was re he was reenacting scenes from Home Alone. Or babysitting. <laughs> or doing the indoor stair luge. Yeah, pillow sleds. He's <laughs> <laughs> not babysitting because that's when you do that as an adult. Now, Lo, it's oh. more to you than anyone else, but then again, this figure does draw a bit of attention by their fierce presence. You see a, a figure that you no one can forget. You see the figure of Brother Caleb. The will and click of gears as this robed figure, figure mostly humanoid, up into the waist, and then he's got four sets, a uh, couple of sets of spider-like legs that whirl and click as he moves. Excuse me. They like uh, awkwardly like go up to him. Hi, um. I, I don't know if you remember me, but, um, I'm Aramnes Low. I, I, um, used to be with the, the, the Gearheart Church. Yes, yes, I remember you. Uh, so, um, I, I don't remember how much I told you, but, um, I, um, I left the church, and then, uh, it turns out, there was like a whole other part of my life from like before I went to the church and I don't remember any of it, but I'm starting to get those memories back and I don't know why, but I'm starting to like act weird whenever I'm near near fire. 
like I'm not entirely sure what happens. I just sort of go blank and then all I can think about is the the flame. Uh but um seeing as you're from the other church, uh I was wondering if it's okay with you if if you if you um knew anything about stuff like this. This this is an interesting old situation you have here. And definitely a turn up since our last meeting. I huh? do recall we do have the a transfer from the broken from the gear heart to our church of the inventor of the mind twister, mind scrambler, whatever they called it as. Yeah, I was. I've heard tell of it. I may or may not. That might have been the cause. I'm not positive yet. This is a curious device, but not one I would. I. See much enjoyment of the use. It is so open for abuse, per se, and. Well, look at me. He just. Mm -hmm. Wiggle, holds his hands out to the side and just wiggles his fingers and you can hear the cogs and chains work. Oh. I am firmly oh. of the belief of improvements. We add, we don't take away. And Miss Lee, not all my siblings within the church follows my belief, but we respect our one another. If accidents happen and a limb gets lost along the way, we replace what cannot be replaced otherwise. Mm. It was a cer certain circumstance myself which resulted in me in my current con. He trails off as he sees in the distance, no doubt. Still dressed in his red garb and oversized hat, similar now. Uh, hi, 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 hi. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, nothing, nothing. You, you just remind me of someone. I, I just have one of those faces. Provocator's eyes just narrow as he just fog, and you hear the wall of his eye, eyes just seem to swirl, swirl and and shoot, as they seem to zoom in on you. Yes, yes, you do. Was well, this... off to do more security things. Is this a bad time? You notice as he starts to drum his fingers on his hand. No, uh... no. It's, it's been a while. It, it's fine. Do you know him? It may have been some time ago, but possibly. Another time, another place, another set of people. Uh, right, of course, sorry. Um. Well, still, your problem. The yeah. Now. Uh, um, yeah. I just, I've, I met a man who seemed to know what was going on, I think. 
he somehow knew what I was going through and that I I don't know he I don't know what to make of that he was uh, apparently he um has messed with my group before in ways I will never forgive him for just like <laughs> Don't don't ask when this happened, but they just have the wrench behind their back now. But anyway, uh not quite sure where I'm going with that, but my they said I would slowly get my memories back now that I've realized I've lost them. So I, I don't know if I can, like, speed up that process or whatever. I just... I'm a little worried about the the fire thing. I'm starting to get some dark thoughts. And I'm not sure what to make of them. I am um, not been involved with the... with that... The research or developments, but I can send a message back back to my church. We can see if we can find uh, the developer and see if we can find some answers for you. Thank you so much. He reads his ass and Jenny puts his, his gold cold metal hand upon your shoulder which, which doesn't have protection because it's because it's like an open shoulder thing so they just like eh. he pulls he pulls back my uh, it's fine it's fine just a little cold to the touch <laughs> yes i do forget every now and again that's this uh, isn't the old flesh and blood I once had. I bet you this was not a choice I would have taken for myself, but uh, certain events happened where it's either this or something worse. But, but still, as one who, who has pursued the truth of the world, we shall endeavour to aid you however we can and again i thank you for that um sorry to uh, drop something so uh serious uh, at a wedding oh weddings are usually they have a nicer air than this agreed but it is nice to see you again and well the cog turns and life goes, goes however, with the, the, the turning. If that ain't the truth. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I should go back to, uh, guarding things. <laughs> Kato just gives you a slight, a slight bow and nod. And, and they go back to doing guarding things. <laughs> Chifos doing at this time. He is purposely trying to avoid actually catching sight of his father at any time, and he's already back in the kitchen starting to prepare well, basically whatever dishes are on the menu. Is that his time? Remember, C4 jelly is not something you can substitute in to a recipe for jelly. But there are things it can substitute for. Oh no. <laughs> That's where you cook very carefully with uh, Snowy Special Brew. Admittedly, you can't cook it with an open flame. At this point, Jeeves enters the kitchen. He gives a nod to the start 
to the numerous members of staff that are in there assisting you. He gives a glance over the food, the food that's been prepared, looks over the ingredients. Master Tifos, I hope all is uh, to your agreement. All is to my agreement. My agreement, I would not be here in the kitchen. I have business to attend to. However, if you see my father out there, tell him he's free to never see me again. I will pass on the message. When should I see him? I will see what I can do to speed up the process so you can get out of the kitchen. In. At this point, it gives you a bow and and he's on, on his way out again. And while Shifros is busy gathering up things, he's uh, you can just kind of hear him muttering under his breath the whole time. And you can't really make it out, but you know that there's... This is not happy muttering. This is... The whole time, and bowls are being thrown just a little bit harder than they should, and... Forget Items that are not fragile are getting slammed down onto the counter. Things like that. Copper for your thoughts. Who's asking? Behind you is one of the maids, but she don't look too familiar to the with the group you've been working with so far. Or my th who are you? She gives you a smile, a very familiar smile. With I see. With metal teeth. Of course, you would show up here. I missed the show. Of course not. And what would you do in my position? When you find out that your father is possibly one of the most despicable people you've ever met in your entire life. I send someone bizarre or like yourself to deal with them. Unfortunately, I have no other people to send after him. I suppose I could send Okosan to say hi, but Okosan is not here today. It's at this point, on Starakus, somehow Okosan has managed to find another wedding to attend. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> you have somehow stumbled. Into the wastes, into a small, a small village of dust goblins, on a rocky outcrop, crop, and it's yeah, you've somehow stumbled into a wedding. They've got, currently got you tied to a stick, slowly being rotated to a fire, and <laughs> yes, they are. You are marrying off a couple of them, and they are quite happy for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going better than anything I could have dreamed. Seriously. Well, what about that wedding? Not this one. <laughs> <laughs> we are here to to wed for Hugelgots to Steve. Hi, hi, hi. I, I, I'm sorry, Steve. <laughs> if there's anyone here who objects to this union, may they speak now or forever hold their peace. <laughs> and in, in short translation of, do not marry them. Marry them, they're a dirty lying cheat. To which responded, 
We were on a sodden break. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> this went from best wedding to worst wedding, because exactly. I'm not a fan of brands. <laughs> <laughs> should, should Okasan break out his new and improved heat vision is the question. <laughs> it now does more damage and reaches significantly farther. <laughs> oh, Hugugats. For Hugugats. Have to say it with a flourish. <laughs> I'm glad one of you guys got that reference. I got it too, but I had to shut my mic off because I can't stop fucking laughing. <laughs> it, it is clear that there is only one way for this wedding to pursue forward. And that is trial by combat within the square and circle. Hey. I will need someone to set up the wrestling ring. <laughs> and we head back to the main party. <laughs> cut, cut away from the match of the century. <laughs> so, uh, Yuki, what you been up to? At this point, she's just kind of scouting the perimeter, doing her job, <laughs> eyeing the buffet very heavily, but is like, nope, I'm on duty. Along the right, oh. While she's doing your rounds, you, you're basically learning that, yeah, well, the agreement with the snarks and sleep wells is they do agree to the marriage. There's plenty of questioning why them? You see Snark, he's, he's dressed up in basically a less greasy suit for you than usual. He is looking miserable, trying to stay away as far as possible from his family. You also, Gavin, managed to learn the names of the, the happy couple being Sprocket Snark and Rosie Sleepwell. Both are considered a bit considered oddballs that each family. Uh huh. Uh, so at this point, Jeeves com comes by. I trust all is going well. I'm sure, you know, as well as this is going. Definitely some tension here. Indeed. That's why your ladyship was more than thankful for the uh, farmer's winter winter fall event to which she was invited. Hope she's having fun. Oh, it's a yearly event. She does. That's good. Is there anything I can help you with to make your duty easier? Hey. I don't suppose you can slip a few snacks from the buffet while you're at it. I can see what I can do. Good. I work best on a full stomach. He gives a smile and a nod, and is on his way. But before he's gone, he, you notice he seems to slip you something. Slip you, in, slip you into one of your dresses pockets that somehow exist. Huh? What's this? And you also notice that he seems to pass by. Pass by the uh, the buffet table, and she's put something down onto it. And when you explore your pocket, some snacks from the buffet table appear in your hand. Sweets. Also, jokes on him. I'm never full. 
<laughs> okay, we've had our setup. We have little things going on. It's nearly 40 minutes, so I'm going to bring uh, part one to a close. The magpie's just standing around doing nothing. Okay, what is magpie doing? Before we come Literally to just patrolling. That's literally all she's doing. She's very hyper focused on her job because she does not like the vibe in the air at all. Like she thinks something is going to happen and she's not sure what. Would you say you've noticed even like so Percy or Brother Caleb? She's probably noticed them, but she's also noticed that Sai and Lo are handling them, so she's not interfering. It's she's kind of like backup in a sense. So, yeah, so basically she's just kind of like listening, getting an, like just she feels really tense. It's at this point, a lady in a fine dress, a tall curled wig approaches you. She's reviewing you in a way that you can tell is not too pleasant a feeling. I'm just kind of ignoring it. Like, she doesn't care what nobles think of her. So, uh, I take it you're one of the peacekeepers, then? That's correct. Ah, her ladyship does love her a bit of chaos every now and again, but, um... Preferably not when she's not around, and... Well, this ain't, this ain't the type of scene for her, is it? I don't know her ladyship that well, so forgive me if I'm not 100% sure. Fair enough. By chance, have you had the chance to meet the happy couple yet? I have been on patrol to make sure nothing happens, so no. And I think the happy couple should be left until after the wedding during the reception. Ah, true. They don't really get to ming mingle before then. It's said to be bad luck to see the bride, bride before, before the wedding. Hmm. Superstition and all that lot. See, I meant because it's a pain in the butt to get into a wedding dress, but that too. Is she wrong? Yeah, it depends on the night you dress. You see, you need one of those dresses that, like, just opens up in front and there's a step ladder in front of it. You just. Walk in, slide in, seal it up, and you're good to go. If your name's Mom. <laughs> the wedding dress, not a battle mech, man. <laughs> they're the same thing. <laughs> no, they're not. I can tell you from experience. You can go to the bathroom in a battle mech. Depends on the mech, actually. Wedding dress. Behold, a wedding dress. <laughs> a twerking R two D two. That is the worst <laughs> wedding dress. <laughs> it is objectively the best wedding dress. Is Okosan piloting that thing? <laughs> 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 I just want to copy paste the other smalls just like in front of it, like in the shadow, just like. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Magpie is being very polite, but she's being very short with her answers because she's on the job. She's blended in. I know the air is tense around here, but light, light it up. You stand out like a soft arm. 
and then she gives you a wide smile and you notice metal teeth. Oh, forgive me, Lady Baba Yaga. I didn't recognize you. That's the point. And Magpie then... sings a very low whisper. Oh, the show's gonna go up and going to happen and Well Let's have an agreeable show, shall we not? I'm just here to make sure nobody hurts anyone or causes any real damage, like a ray or something. Don't worry. If there's something you're plotting, I ain't stepping into it, ma'am. Aren't you just adorable? You are technically an in-law at this point for me. I know I'm dating your semi-adopted grandson. Ah, the views of mortals. Ah, and you have yourself some fun with this. Help yourself to a bit of pun punch. It's not being spiked too much. And, and as long just, as it ain't Snorri's brew, I'll touch it. And she just wanders off. That place actually relieved it's Baba Yaga for once. <laughs> And shall we uh, bring an end to part one now? Yep. Okie doke. Yeah. So, into part two. Be good, be well, and do not meddle the affairs of Arts Fray because they will mess you up. Uh... Later, folks. Bye. Especially if they're in laws, by the way. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Nom. <laughs>